the global economy has been recovering faster and more strongly than we anticipated even a year ago. Extensive policy support combined with the comparatively rapid development and then deployment of effective vaccines along with the accelerating digital transformation of our economies all contributed to this more optimistic outlook. In our recent interim economic outlook, we project global GDP to grow 5.7% this year and 4.5% next year. Yet, the recovery remains uneven across countries and sectors and uncertainty and significant downside risks remain, including the possible emergence of new COVID variants because of uneven vaccination levels, as well as inflationary pressures. To optimize the strength and the quality of the recovery, we need to continue working to stay on top of the public health challenge. First and foremost, that means continued efforts to get as many people as possible all around the world vaccinated as quickly as possible. Policy support should remain flexible, adjusting to the evolving health and economic situation and better targeted to those in genuine need of continued support and towards future focused investment, particularly into our green and digital transitions. Open markets, a strong competitive framework, a system which rewards the most productive and innovative business ideas and encourages investment in future growth will lead to quality job creation and the lifting of living standards. And because trade has been and should remain a central engine for the recovery, all the trading nations around the world have an interest in strengthening the rules-based multilateral trading system with the World Trade Organization at its center. Finally, and importantly, recovery policies must promote equality of opportunities and foster social mobility, including by restoring and boosting opportunities for women and young people. While deploying our recovery efforts, we also need to continue to address crucial pre-existing structural challenges. We need to get to global net zero emissions by 2050 the OECD will help drive and support more ambitious, effective and globally coordinated action on climate change through better data and comparative policy effort and impact. Finally, we must seize the opportunities while better managing the risks associated with the accelerating digital transformation of our economies. Just last month, 136 countries and jurisdictions, members of the OECD G20 inclusive framework on BEPS, have reached a historical agreement which will make our international tax system fairer and work better and make it fit for purpose in our digitalized economy. It will reallocate more than $125 billion US of profit to countries worldwide and we will see countries collect around $150 billion US more in new tax revenues annually. The OECD will continue to work with Global Fora to address the economic challenges of our times. We look forward to further intensifying our partnership with APEC and your member economies in order to make the recovery stronger, resilient and homogenous across the region and beyond.